Many of our patients ask me if they are candidates for wearing a contact lens. And the answer to that question is yes, provided we follow a few guidelines. Um, the number one guideline um, that we follow is that there's absolutely no extended wear. We don't want our patients sleeping with a contact lens overnight. It's well known that extended wear increases your risk for infection and damage to your cornea. So we would never suggest extended wear lens for our patients with diabetes. And actually, I wouldn't, exp I wouldn't um, fit extended wear lenses to even our non-diabetic patients. The cornea where the contact lens is fit, so the contact lens would be fit right over the cornea like this. The cornea is a very high, highly metabolic structure of the eye, requires a lot of oxygen. It gets most of the oxygen from the air. So when you put a contact lens over the cornea, you are blocking some of the oxygen from getting to the cornea, which is why we want to use the newer generation silicone hydrogels, which transmit a lot more oxygen through the contact lens than older generation lenses did. The original contact lens prototype was glass, but since then a lot has evolved in that, in that contact lens industry. Um, they went from glass to plastic to gas permeable plastics and then to soft lenses, which we're using a lot today. The other guideline I usually try to follow is go with a daily disposable contact lens. This is a one-use lens. You wear it for the day, and at the end of the day, you, you would toss it out. Um, using a daily disposable lens decreases your chance for infection, um, irritation from wearing the same lens over and over again, and for our patients with diabetes who may have fragile corneas, um, it's a great way to go. If we cannot fit a daily disposable lens, um, we still want to use the newer materials, the silicone hydrogels, but we would definitely suggest that our patients use a peroxide-based system. It basically uses hydrogen peroxide to disinfect and clean your lens. Um, it is very hypoallergenic and patients tolerate it very well.